We are here with Oprah Winfrey. I'm doing Gay, I'm doing Drew. I'm doing Drew right now. I just, hi Gail! Oh, can you, hi, can Gail. you hear Drew? Um, yeah, she's saying hi, she's saying hi Gail. I, I just wanna say, I think the three of us should get together, you know, I'm, I think that would be so much fun. Yes, when this pandemic is over, let's make sure that happens, Drew. All right, Gail, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> you know, we all, I think, thrive in this world through friendship. You know, a lot of, you know, children and marriages, they, you know, the friends were there at the beginning. They'll be there till the end. They're these sort of lifelong relationships. It's different than blood family. It's choice, but it feels as intimate and loyal and your friendship with Gail has been something that, you know, we all aspired to because we want that kind of friendship in our life. And by the way, you now have Oprah Daily, which I happened to mention to Gail, that I thought that the Oprah Daily, the daily word, it's so brilliant. Well, thank you, thank you. I wanted, I, I, I actually came up with that because I wanted it to be, uh, uh, what I realized is that the Oprah show was a habit, just like the Drew Barrymore show. People are creating a habit around that. And that's what you want. That's your core viewer. That's who you're speaking to every day. And the idea of having a, a daily inspiration point, a daily quote, a daily something that you can rely on to give you just a little lift. You know, my whole goal throughout my life, even before I could articulate it, is how do you bring a light into people's lives? How do you let them see the best of themselves? How do you allow them to grow into becoming more of who they are, which is what every one of us is actually aspiring to do, whether you can articulate that for yourself or not. You just, you just wanna become more, more solid. You wanna have the ability to have the fullest expression of yourself as a human being. And you do that by, by habits, by, by rituals, by creating a space where you can give back to yourself in a way that allows you to flourish. So we, we are growing it into what I know will be in the future is a daily spot of inspiration for everybody. So thank you for mentioning that. We need you on the daily. I listen to your Sirius XM channel through both my pregnancies and I... It was it was my daily North Star. It was my daily fix. Mm. It, uh, well, thank you for that. It's thank true. That. I'll never forget yeah. the story you told about Gail getting the water for the traffic cop and how that moment was her being such an important and good parent to her son because she was showing him the kind of person to be. And that gave me hope because I felt so lost. Like, what blueprint do I have to pull on to become a parent? I was scared out of my mind. And I thought hearing that story, if I can be an example to my kids, maybe I don't have to draw from my past or even fight it. I can try to be myself and that can that can give me hope to be a good parent. That story literally changed my life. It was, um, so thank you for that. Well, you know, Gail is to date, and she always says, well, all parents do that. And all parents say, no, they don't. <laughs> Gail is to date the best model parent I have ever seen. I've never seen anybody who was more engaged, more respectful of her children. And when she first had kids, you know, because we were best friends and, and, and met at a television station in Baltimore. And once she married and had kids, I thought, well, there's gonna be distance in our relationship because she's not gonna have time to, you know, devote to, to, to our friendship. And it, that did not happen. But what did happen, every time she was on the phone with me and one of her children entered the room, she would stop, she would put the phone down. Even if she didn't put the phone down, they would be acknowledged. She was present there for them. She would say, mommy's on the phone now with Annie O. Uh, and morning bear, she calls Kirby bear. Morning, she, there, there was an acknowledgement and, 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 and what I would have to say over the years of mutual respect. And I know we're gonna be talking later of, of, about the subject of what happened to you. But one of the things that Dr. Perry says in this book is that when children grow up and they realize that they are not getting the respect that they deserve from their parents, it changes who they are. 
what your kids want. And this is actually true of everybody. They, they want to know that you are, that you're here, that you see me, that you see me and you hear me and that I matter to you. And that is true for everybody else in your life too.